In this video, I'm going to show you how to use hex code to define colors in CSS. And using the hex code, you can define literally millions of colors. So there's a lot you can do with it, and we're getting started right now. Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. It's Bjorn from Higher Learning Lab, where we help you code better so you can earn more for yourself, for your clients, or for your business. And if you haven't done so yet, make sure to hit the subscribe button, then hit the bell notification icon so you're notified when I publish more awesome tutorials. With that out of the way, let's learn how to use the hex codes for your CSS colors. Let's get started. We have a very simple HTML setup over here with some H2 heading tags, three of them actually. And each one has a different background color, which is defined by a hex code. And hex, if you know a bit of Latin, is a prefix that means the number six. So we have six characters in every hex code. In this one, we have two Fs and four zeros. And that's our hex code. And each hex code defines a color. And so what you can do is very easily, throughout your web page, define hex codes for everything and then that defines the colors of those, either the backgrounds or boxes or font color, whatever color you're displaying, you can define with the hex code. And I found one of the best ways to discover what a hex code is, is using uh, something like Photoshop, where you have a little color picker. You can put any image you want into Photoshop, use that color picker, and then you can find what the hex code is. Another thing I do is if I see a web page that has a color I like, I go to it, I go to an element on the page, I right click on it, click on inspect. I'm using Google Chrome, by the way, to do this. And it will actually tell you what the hex code is if there's a hex code defined. So for the background color of this element that I selected, this with the red background, the hex code is two Fs and four zeros. And that's the hex code. That's often how I find a lot of hex codes when I'm working online. So another important thing to note for the hex code, it's always preceded by a hashtag or pound symbol. And without this pound symbol, the hex code won't work. So if we delete this, save the page, refresh the page over here, our background color goes away. So we we'll always have to have that pound in there. And so for hex codes, just have to make sure we have the hashtag and six characters following the hashtag. There are some exceptions to that. For example, the color white. I've defined white text for the blue background because it's easier to read. If we use the hex code for white, which is just six times the letter F, refresh this page, nothing will change. What we can do when, it's, when the hex code, when the first three characters of the hex code repeat themselves again to finish the hex, we can just do three characters. So then we refresh this page over here again and stays as white. And another example is the hex code for black is six zeros. But if we just put three zeros in, save the page, refresh the page, we have black colors. So there are a bunch where you can just define three, uh, three, three characters instead of six. I'm gonna put this back to three Fs. So we're, we have white over here. And so that is really all there is to know about hex codes. Uh, you can define background colors as we have for all three examples. You can define the color of the text using the color declaration. And you can define any other colors you want on a page using hex codes. And that's all there is to using the hex code to define your CSS colors. I hope this video helps you. If you haven't done so yet, make sure you hit the subscribe button, then hit the bell notification icon so you're notified when I publish more awesome tutorials. Next up is clicking one of these videos on the right hand side to level up your knowledge even further. And until next time, I will see you in the next video.